That's right, it's time for Walking with Brian, episode one. That's right, I'm introducing to you Brian Wartell's Walking with Brian series. We'll call it a series, whatever you want. So I am Brian Wartell. I have been writing songs, really, as long as I can remember. I'm actually trying to get uh, some cassette tapes from when I was a kid, making up all kinds of songs, uh, you know, digitized. But I've officially been writing songs since I've been, I think, 15. Um, give or take in some form or another, I've written about 150 songs to date, um, some of which are completely done and out there. Uh, you can find some of my early demo work on uh, iTunes, Spotify, uh, etc., Amazon. Um, I really haven't been able to get a lot of my stuff out there yet, but what I decided to do uh, to help uh, expose uh, some of my ideas, uh, perhaps talents, uh, whatever you want to call them, um, I've just been taking a lot of walks lately, um, trying to get a little healthier, and as I've been wanting to do my entire life, as I'm walking around, I sing, right? If I'm not listening to music, I'm always creating music, right? And whether it's singing songs that I know, or singing songs that I've made up in the past, or singing completely new material, or whatever it is, beats, doesn't matter, I'm always surrounded by music. I have to be surrounded by music. I've kind of been indoctrinated that way by my dad, who's also incredibly surrounded by music. And uh, so I just decided, well, you know what? I'm always walking. I'm always singing. I'm always coming up with stuff. Let me share some of myself with other people. I feel like I've been keeping it in for too long. Um, I haven't had the either financial or other musical opportunities to really be able to get a lot of my stuff out there, although certainly hope to do so in the near future, looking to write for other artists. And right now I'm just trying to do exposure. Uh, so I'm going to be starting this series called Walking with Brian. Uh, so yeah, this is officially the first launching episode. I don't know how long it'll be yet. It probably depends on how tired I get, if the weather changes. Um, but right now it's pretty nice, a little bit of cloud cover. So... Um, Let's start with um, one of the first songs that I ever wrote. Officially, the first song that I ever wrote, more or less in the form that it's in now. Um, and that is on my um, self-titled uh, debut album, uh, which you can find, again, on multiple platforms. And this is I'll See You Tomorrow. Again, I'm not going to sing the whole song, because that's not really the purpose of this uh, Walking with Brian, although I certainly could. It's a very simple song, but still very proud of it. I'm looking at you, and you're looking back at me. Staring right in your eyes, your beauty is all I can see. And you blow me a kiss as you walk out the door. I've got a smile on my face Cause I will see you once more And I'll see you tomorrow Or maybe the next day Well, I know that's okay Cause I'll see you again I'll see you tomorrow And I know that you love me And that you're thinking of me And I will see you again now, officially, the first song I ever wrote, even before that, was a song that I actually came up with at the age of eight. And again, this is not counting all of the just coming up with stuff on top of my head when, since I was like four or five. But the official, first, like, semi-official song I ever wrote was called S.S. Apricot. Definitely had much of a silly streak back then. A lot of my songs before they wound up getting more into the love and social change and rock and whatever else genres. Um, a lot of them were kind of more silly. Um, I also do have a whole bunch of comedy stuff that's in a whole separate branch that I'm not getting into right now. Um, but so SS Apricot was a song that I came up with when I was eight and really is not about anything profound, just basically about being on a ship uh, and just kind of enjoying yourself, which is, you know, perfectly fine for an eight-year-old, right? Uh, really fine for adults, too. Uh, unfortunately, I lost the lyrics that I wrote down when I was eight, uh, rewrote them when I was 11, 
I'm not even sure if I fully wrote them down when I was eight. I may have just really just kind of come up with the idea when I was eight. I may have really just written down the lyrics when I was 11. But either way, I lost the lyrics when I was 11, only really remembered the chorus and the kind of gist of the song, and then rewrote it when I was, I believe, 15, maybe 16. Um, and when I initially formed it, it actually kind of started off a little bit like I Just Can't Wait to Be King from The Lion King, because that's still my favorite Disney movie of all time. So I've kind of tried to craft it a little bit so it doesn't no longer, the beginning no longer sounds like that. And again, I kind of had to recraft it because I kind of forgot what the verses I came up with, you know, many years before. But anyway, um, it's, it's honestly not my best song, but it's very dear to me as it's like officially the first song I wrote, especially at such a young age. And hopefully I remember all the words at this point, or at least, all the, at least the beginning of the words. I'm not sure if I will. I'm just going to sing the chorus. Let's just go with that, because I don't want to make a fool of myself, right? But hopefully I'll get that song out there in some form or another. Um, I may have the vocals version of it. It's possible I have the vocals version of it on my Reverb Nation page, which I definitely have more material on my Reverb Nation page than I do out there on many other platforms. So please check that out, ReverbNation.com, uh, I believe, slash... Brian Wartell, or it might be slash artist slash Brian Wartell. You just do a Google search. So anyway, basically the chorus goes, The SSA forgot, da -na 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 -na. the SSA forgot, da -na -na -na. it doesn't matter if it's cold or hot, I'm going on the SSA forgot. And now we're going, we're halfway there. You know, and it kind of goes on like that. Now, the actual inspiration for the song, when I first came up with it, um, when I was, I said, eight, um, was actually Sea Cruise by Frankie Ford. Now, there are some similarities, even though it's actually a pretty different song, but obviously that is a cruise, and that was the initially the inspiration. Most of you are probably not familiar with that, but certainly some of you who are more familiar with six, early 60s music, I believe it was from 1964, actually, uh, might know the song Sea Cruise by Frankie Ford. I grew up on a plethora of 60s music as well as other oldies. My dad is an immense oldies trivia buff, uh, and he taught me a ton of songs, and a lot of them are my inspiration, which is probably why many of my songs, both just from having a, just a great diversity and also a greater year era uh, span from like the 50s all the way well into the 90s and 2000s, you know, I know a ton of songs of an immense mental library, and I incorporate them into my songs. And that probably makes a lot of my songs more unique, although some of them are quite simple. Um, so I'm thinking right now, because uh, again, I'm doing this kind of live, although I can obviously cut the recording because I'm not posting it live. There's a really nice breeze right now. Um, I'm gonna just, um, I'm actually trying to come out with a new album. Uh, I have, again, I have one album out right now um, at least unofficially. I mean, it's, it's out there, but it's just not really professionally recorded. I kind of did it in my room. Um, feel free to take a listen. Self-titled, Brian Wartell. I hope to put out a second album in a similar fashion uh, later this year. Uh, one song that I'm working on perfecting right now is called Bluebirds in the Sky. It's one of multiple songs I'm uh, dealing with that has to relate to people who are going through a tough time. Um, you know, and unfortunately, I know many people who have or are going through a lot of different struggles, whether it's, you know, just simply dealing with family or health issues or even, you know, being suicidal, right? A lot of people are dealing with mental health issues these days or people are heartbroken. And unfortunately, there's way too much depression to go around. And I feel like I can try and use, it's not the only thing I'm going to write about, of course, not the only, but I feel like part of my music can hopefully cheer people up. Um, Again, on my Reverb Nation page, and I think on my YouTube page, um, I have a very simple video uh, of a song called Smiling Through the Tears, which I also hope to have on this album. Now, Bluebirds in the Sky is something I came up with um, during, well, I was during my master's in college. And uh, it basically is about kind of like trying to free your troubles or ha helping somebody free their troubles and soar above the heavy weights of the clouds and fly above into the, into the sunshine. And um, it, why I specifically chose the bluebird, I don't know. But obviously, I love the color blue, and it's, it's symbolic with uh, calmness, right? Uh, the, t the blue is often uh, symbolized with, with uh, tranquility. Um, so I've, I've actually been working on it 
recently, uh, but I'm just gonna, just a, a little teaser, I'm just gonna sing the chorus right now, which I still feel is the best part of the song. Um, and hopefully you'll hear a more complete version later this year. Hi, I know you're feeling lonely. Hi, I know you're feeling down. Hi, like you're the one and only who's going through this time. But we can work together and we can turn this thing around the fly. Now, not all of my songs are soft. It's certainly much easier since I'm not the greatest keyboard player. I'm very good at coming up with material. And I don't really have a lot of other people to help me with music. I have one guitarist who helps me periodically, but again, it's more acoustic. So a lot of my songs that I'm coming out with right now are very soft, unless I happen to have like beats and stuff that I can use on a computer. Oh, look at these cardinals. Um, sorry, I get distracted easily. And, um, you know, so I definitely do have much harder songs uh, too. Um, you know, I also have some songs about, you know, ex-girlfriends and things that are probably a little more mainstream in the, in the, in the rock uh, spectrum. Even have a couple country songs, although extremely few. There is actually one that I'd like to eventually uh, write for um, Randy Hauser and Eric Church, um, which uh, I guess I could sing that for you right now, even though it's kind of going to go into the rock spectrum, but we can do that. Fine. See if I can remember it all and try and do the voices properly. Okay. Read only this, read only that. What you doing in a place like that? Now come on. Yeah, baby, come on. I'm singing now and I don't know the words because I'm still making up the song as I go along. And come on. Yeah, baby, come on. Come on over, let me take you for the ride of your life. Come on over, let me show you and make you my wife. Come on over. I, I'm still figuring out the lyric for that song, but it's really an idea. And then it goes to Eric Church. Yeah, baby, come on. I'm trying to do my best to imitate him. You know, so it goes kind of like a, it's kind of like a fun, groovy song. That's one of only two country songs that I made, and the other one was really kind of more of a novelty song. Um, so, I haven't really broken much into the country spectrum, probably will not really ever, but I do enjoy listening to modern country music, um, especially ones that are more rock oriented. Um, alright, let's see where we at. Back to, uh, other rock music. Um, there's one that I came up with, uh, about 12 years ago, uh, also kind of nostalgic, and it's... Back when we listened to the 45s Back when it felt so good to be alive Yeah, I still remember, yeah, I still remember Back when rock was cool I used to listen to the love groove Got yeah, his little smooth move Even in the pouring rain You know, so it's just it's, oh, I have so many different types of songs That are out there um, Or really not out there That I want to get out there, I should say um, all right, so I really kind of want to actually head back. I'm worried I'm going to get tired. I got a lot to do today. All right, but I can't turn around right now because there's no sidewalk on the other side. I'm just sharing my thoughts. Again, that's walking with Brian. You kind of get what you get. Some of it's planned, some of it's not. Let me just make up some uh, stuff right now. Whatever comes up is what comes up. So you get what you get. All right, so let's see what we get. <laughs> well, I'm walking with my feet And I don't know where I'm going I'm heading in there, but I don't know why And I'm looking ahead Looking at everything is going around Looking at the crowd so up in the sky And I feel moving down And I feel it moving round And I feel like I'm going down Come back up again Beating one more time 
tell me again and again, one more time. You can seem to run around, and I'm feeling like a crash through the ground. Everybody wants to tell me one more time I can go Where I don't know Passing everything by Running straight, running ahead Everything is left unsaid And you're going in my mind And I've been going down See, I'm actually doing that because I completely forgot the chorus that I just did like a minute ago. But that's sometimes the nature of things. Sometimes I'll remember it. Sometimes I'll kind of rehash it. Sometimes I record them on my phone so I remember it. And sometimes they just kind of fade, in, fade into oblivion. So anyway, that was one thing. Um, all right, so I know. I have a song that I wrote when I was an undergrad, um, largely in the style of Jason Mraz, who was just really getting into it at the time. It would be so awesome if he ever winds up covering this, or right, or actually taking it on, full-fledged. Been having kind of a hard time producing it up until this point. Hopefully I'll get to it soon. And hopefully I can do it justice, conveying it to you. This crazy world, it's hustling, I'm hustling, moving so fast, it's hard to get a sentence in. Running here and running there, you're getting overrated. Running here, I forgot the words. There's a trade in. In your soul, your heart is gold. You know you've got potential. Listen to the music. Listen to the music. So turn your stereo down. Turn your radio up. Actually, I think I got that backwards. Turn your radio down. Turn your stereo up. You hate the world outside. You like that you've had enough. So come and try to live the heart Do the best that you can be When you look in my heart You'll see the music in me And the song kind of repeats like a second time It's been a while so I don't remember all the words And then uh, I think it's uh, the, ver the bridge is like Stop going down, you're gonna get dizzy You're gone right now and it's gone so busy That was the same thing that you just don't understand That the little bird you're looking for is right inside your hand So turn your radio down Turn your stereo up You hate the world outside Feel like that you've had enough So come and look into your heart And say the best you can be When you look in my heart You'll find the music in me And then the song ends I will look at you too and see the music in you. Again, I really wish I could remember more of the song. Maybe I will for the future. Uh, future walk. Let's get a little cloudier. Hopefully it doesn't rain. Um, so basically the idea of that song, uh, if you weren't able to gather it, was effectively that like, there's so much, no and this was like way before all of like most of social media. Right, there's just a little bit of Facebook at the time, uh, and uh, Twitter hadn't started yet. But nonetheless, people get bombarded with so many things in their lives, uh, whether it be on social media, whether it be with peers, whether it be in college, with family. There's just so much noise, so to speak, so much noise. And it might not be like actual concrete physical noise. It might not be people even talking to you. It just might be ideas in your head. You don't know where to go, right? But you need to find that music in you. You need to find something which is a means of expressing yourself and you turn that radio down the one that's just going from station to station and it's kind of haphazard and blasting music turn your personal stereo up right your personal stereo which has your music and who you are and what you want to express and what you want to give to the world everybody i don't want to get into a whole spiritual thing but like everybody has potential everybody has certain talents and yes, it's not always music. That's meant to be metaphorical. But everybody has their own music in the sense that they have their own talents. They have their own creative abilities. They have their own uniqueness and gifts to give to the world, right? And that's part of what this song is about, right? Is that everything is just so busy. We're busy with our lives. We're busy with doing errands. We're busy with our work. We're busy with our kids. We're busy 
trying to save face with other people, whatever it might be. And oh, that's a nice bird. A lot of birds around today. Good. It's still spring. Um, and you know, I, I'll take that as a good sign, right? We need to sing. We need to let our music out. We don't have to like actually sing. Although I personally think it's very, very uh, cathartic, even if you're not a good singer. It's still a good idea to listen to music and to sing. And I'm not going to tell people what kind of music to listen to, but obviously certain types of music are more inspiring than others. But turn your radio down. Turn your stereo up, right? Bring out who you are inside. And those are some of the messages I want to bring out in my songs. And again, some of them are going to be a little more silly. Some of them, you know, again, will be more mainstream. Some will be about love songs. But some will be, and probably some of the ones I want to get out more early are really about just helping yourself or helping other people. There's a deer right now, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but they're everywhere here, so beautiful. Um, that's another thing, just take time to take walks, take beauty in nature. Um, take time out from all the noise, take time out from all the, the busyness, the chaos in life, get off the computer, get off your phone. I know I'm saying that because I'm recording on a phone, but you know what I mean. It's just we're, we're bombarded with so many things in our lives. We don't have a lot of enough time to, for ourselves or for the people around us. We need a lot more just natural positive energy. I'm, I'm going to say musical energy, honestly. I feel like a lot of people, especially there's a lot of stuff that passes for music nowadays that I personally think is either garbage or it sounds good, but it's still pretty cheap. And yeah, there's some stuff I like that honestly is not very good music, I'll be honest. Um, but... It's more important to pay attention to your own music. What resonates with you, right? What resonates with you? What do you want to bring out into the world, right? So I feel like that's an important thing to convey. And ultimately, I mean, I, have, I guess I have multiple goals, right? And, you know, I'll be honest, I have some self-interest at heart, but I really would like to get myself out there to really try and make a difference in the world. And if I can do that through my music, then that's one of the best blessings ever, right? So I can do some things that I love, I can do something that I feel is very influential because we're much more influenced through music than almost any other medium, especially for the positive. Um, and uh, yeah, so that's just a bit of what I have right now. Uh, again, I'm walking back. I still have some time, but I'm getting kind of tired. And anyway, so I'm just going to wrap up with just one last thing. In addition to the series, which will be Walking with Brian, I uh, also do uh, self-carpool karaoke, which you can also find on my YouTube channel. Uh, that's basically loosely based on James Corden's uh, carpool karaoke, except that all the guests I have are both musical guests and I do them myself. So kind of highlights some musical talents and put some, you know, witty quips in there and, you know, just kind of play around a little bit. So it's a little humorous as well. Um, so check that out. Uh, I also have a podcast on Anchor FM through Spotify, so you'll only be able to get the full thing if you have Spotify. And I basically, what I do there is I like to highlight other artists and their music, um, and specifically songs and artists that I just feel have not gotten the potential that they deserve. Uh, and it's called Great Songs You've Never Never Heard But Probably Should Have. I believe I got the name right, right? Great Songs You've Never Heard But Probably Should Have, or But Should Have. And again, you can find that on Spotify. You can also find a more limited version on anchor.fm. And please look that up as I'm trying to not just get my own music out there. There's just so many great songs that I just feel have not gotten the recognition they deserve. Some of the artists that just really didn't get the recognition they deserve, they're only known by certain cities, uh, Canadian artists even. So uh, please check that out. Again, great songs you've never heard, but should have, or probably should have. Again, I don't recall the exact title. Um, because it's not just about getting my, my stuff out there. It's about getting the great music scene out there. Uh, there's so much amazing stuff that's not well known. And I really feel it deserves to be. So that's it for today. Signing out. See you next time. Walking with Brian.